Apple just removed one of the most iconic macOS features, the launchpad. If you used a Mac anytime in the past decade, you know it that the full screen grid of the colorful app icons that made the Mac feel a bit like an iPad, but with macOS Tao, it's gone, replaced by this small window called apps or applications. At first glance, it feels like Apple took something away, but the truth is, they didn't remove it randomly. I think they did this because macOS just got a new brain, the all-new Spotlight system. Alright, let me explain. Launchpad was added way back in 2011 with macOS Lion. It was Apple's answer to organizing apps visually, like an iPhone home screen on a Mac. You could pinch four fingers, everything blurred out, and bam, your apps comes in. But as macOS evolved, multitasking, split view, control center, and now stage manager, that idea started to feel a bit old school. Now here's what I genuinely think Apple's doing. They're not killing Launchpad for fun, they're merging it into Spotlight. In macOS Tao, Spotlight isn't just a search tool anymore, it's basically Apple's command center where you can access clipboard history right inside it, run shortcut commands and custom automation without opening any apps, perform quick calculations, look up contacts, convert currencies and translate text, and now launch apps directly through it within the same interface design system. The new app window you see is actually built on top of the Spotlight UI framework. Same floating design, same blurred background, same research first focus. It's Apple's unifying how you do everything. One layer for search, apps and actions. So when people say Apple removed Launchpad, I think they actually absorbed it into Spotlight. Well, either ways, it's gone now, probably never coming back, sadly. Well, here is why it makes sense. On a big display or a MacBook with multiple desktop, the full screen read was actually slower. Apple's data probably showed that most users weren't clicking icons anymore. They were typing using the search feature. So Apple designed Tahoe for a search first world. It's quicker, it's minimal, and it lines up with what they're doing on iPadOS and even Vision OS. Small fluid UI overlays instead of huge transitions. But I do get the frustration. The specific launchpad is something that made a Mac. Mac for me personally. It was iconic. Launchpad wasn't just functional, it felt good. You could rearrange icons, make folders, drag apps into pages, it was visual. Although what you're seeing right now is just a screenshot, but now that's gone, replaced with the new app window which is fixed, alphabetical, either in grids or list, no folder, no creation. It's faster, yes, but less yours, less ours. It's that classic Apple trade-off, simplicity for flexibility. And here's the big picture, a bit speculative and what could be the next move. This might be a part of a long-term plan. Portlight in Taho feels a lot like a central command search we see in a developer's tool and even iPadOS. Maybe Apple's heading towards a future where Spotlight is the universal layer across Mac, iPad, Vision, and even iPhone. One consistent interface where you can search, open, control, automate, and create do all sorts of stuff in the same place. And to make that happen, something older like Launchpad had to go. So yeah, I think this isn't just about design. It's about Apple simply find how we interact with macOS altogether. Do I miss Launchpad? Well of course, but I also get why Apple did this. Because for most users, Spotlight is faster, smarter and it's becoming the true hub of the Mac. Still, I would love to see Apple give us the option to bring Launchpad back, but I don't think that would be possible by any means because that would mean rewiring the entire Spotlight system once again to separate it from the Launchpad or apps and if they do it, it might even feel a bit odd or weird to use it, like two separate systems in one. So. Even if it would be somehow be possible, I don't see Apple doing it. I mean, they took away the cool 3D touch and replaced it with a cheap feeling haptic touch with same animations in the name of unified interface for other devices like the iPad and Mac. Talk about downgrading. Anyway, what do you think? Should Apple have kept the old launchpad or are you fine with this new spotlight style app launcher? Which I probably don't see it. Drop your thoughts below in the comments. I will be reading them all. And until then, thanks for being with me. Peace out.